with bluefin fishing now and and uh, flat fall jigs, knife jigs, you know the 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 need for a big strong hook. So we always replacing all the hooks and a big strong bite leader. We're putting le leaders on everything so that we don't get chewed off. We hook the fish of a lifetime. Well, what that leads to is you know over over the years you're going to have lots of jigs. You know just like any other like surface iron or yo-yo iron, you're going to end up with maybe a dozen, maybe two dozen jigs. Some guys even more. And so we we're trying to figure out what is the best way to store them and also what's the best way to get them on your trip to make sure that you're taking all the stuff that you bought and, and use it so this is the way we were doing it and, and it still works to a degree um, the only thing that we're trying to avoid is that once you get all your stuff all rigged up you know you put it in a tackle box like this and you're trying to find the one and, and they're all stuck together and, it's and a mess right? it's just a mess you know it's a mess and <clears throat> And what ends up happening is you, you end up not using anything because you just can't even get to it. By the time you get one out, you tie it on it, and, and that's good as long as the leader's in good shape. So you go use that thing. You have to catch a fish or two if you're lucky. Throw it back in your box. Now you've introduced salt water into all these jigs. So after the season, what ends up happening is you get half of these things all rusted. You didn't even use them. So guys would bring them into our shop, and we'd cut off all the rigging, all the hooks, re-rig them all, which we'll do for anybody anytime. But we started looking at this and, and just saying, man, well, there's gotta be a better way. So we look at what other people are doing around the world. It's not something that we've invented. And what they do is that they store everything separately, all their leaders, all their hooks separately. One of the things that we also had to do was, was learn to trust assist hooks and split rings. And what I mean by that is in the beginning, you know, we were kind of shying away from um, these kind of things because we were afraid that they would chew through the material or that they would straighten out the split rings. Well, after a couple of years of, of using the higher quality stuff, we see that that's not an issue. So we can really cut down on a lot of the rigging and a lot of the prep and a lot of the, what we have to carry on the boat. And, and save money. And save money at the same time. You yeah. know, that's, 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 that's definitely a great byproduct, but I think just being able to enjoy more jigs and, and, and being able to get to the ones that, that you need to right away is, is, is as important and you hook more fish that way. Meaning that like a particular color or right. a particular jig is working, you can go right. and have that yeah. and be fishing with it fast. First of all, you're just not gonna bring as many because it's just, it's just hard to bring them. And then when it gets down to using them and, and you wanna change colors, you're, you know, you're like, oh man, screw this. This is, this is taking too long, you know, or it's just, you just can't get them undone or you feel like you damaged something as you're doing it. So, so that's the whole thing is carrying more and being able to use it easily. So step two of this whole thing is, is how you rig it on the rod. Well, typically what we would do is that we would take one of these jigs and basically just tie this onto your line, you know, and, and like I said, that'll work just fine. You tie this onto your line, you're ready to go. You put that onto your rod and you're ready to go, you know, you, you know as you're at the dock and uh, wait, waiting for the bite to happen. Well, one of the things that would happen with this thing is that it'd be hitting your, hitting your reel, messing up your reel, hitting your neighbor's reel, possibly even falling out of wherever you had it hooked. Might be flying around, somebody walking up and down the, the boat might even get snagged, you know? So it's even kind of poses a danger. So what we've done is, is kind of eliminated the jig from the rigging until you really need it. And so now what we do is we're just gonna tie a leader on there, just a leader, and we'll attach one of the assist hooks on there. So that's gonna be a connection point. And because there's no weight on it, it's it's less apt to be coming off the reel yeah so makes so sense you basically just tie this on at the dock and you're, you're this rod's ready to go you just hook it right on there you're good to go once you start fishing what you're going to do is is go to your jig jig bag now nomad makes this pretty good jig bag i'm pretty sure there's others out there that's the one that we carry and as you can see you got all the jigs here good to go and this is really not even completely full a lot of these you can put two in each one so if you wanted to carry 50 of them, you could. They also even have this uh, Velcro in insert, so you can even increase your, your capacity by that much. So that makes it really good. And believe me, this thing completely full probably weighs 50, 60 pounds. So Jeez. you gotta be careful how many you put in there. Yeah, right. So let's just say you're gonna start fishing. You know, the guy says, okay, we're, you know, we're getting there guys. We should be there in about 20 minutes to the zone. Start getting your stuff ready or your alarm clock goes off or whatever. And now you're getting ready to go. So what you do is you are going to take your rig off your rod here and just attach your jig to it. 
Now, obviously, this is, is, is going to be in your hand now, not in the rod rack as you're getting ready to fish. But you're essentially, you're ready to go here. You know, you, you can start fishing just as That's is. That's fast. So it really doesn't take that long. It's really easy to do. You do have to have a good split ring plier. We, we saw the Shimano, the heavy duty one. That's the one that we found and worked the best. And, it, and it'll do almost any size split ring that we found. Maybe not the real tiny ones, but all the big ones we're talking about. What's that cost? It's fifty dollars. Okay, fifty dollars. It, it it it's 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 a few bucks, but once you use the other ones that don't work as good, you see that the value is there. Way better, yeah. And on your <clears throat> assist hooks, um, what I do is, I'll go ahead and kind of prep them ahead of time, and I'll put a split ring on them, so that if I wanted to add a hook to the bottom, that's also real easy to do. You just throw it on there real quick, and you're you're good to go. Just like that, you're good to go hook on top. Wow. And you could put two hooks on the bottom, five hooks, on whatever you wanted. You know, you would just attach it with that split ring. Do you have a suggestion on how many hooks? Well, I mean, it gets asked a lot in here. Yeah. Um, I, I, I do find that it doesn't seem like more hooks, hooks less fish. It doesn't seem like there's an issue with that. The only thing that I have found is on occasion when you get these jigs and they come back and, they, and they, they're bent, it does seem like more often than not, it's, it's a jig that's been rigged with two hooks. I think what happens is, that the jig itself gets bound to the fish. And so when it gets brought over the rail, it, it doesn't have any, any way of getting out of the way. Got it. So all the weight of the fish is, it, it lands on the one side and it bends it. Yeah. You know, by that time you got 150 pound tuna who cares about a jig, but yeah. that might be the only thing that I can see as a, as a possible negative. But, but even then, I mean, you know, you want to hook that fish securely. So if you have a situation where maybe you had a fish or two come off, maybe adding an extra hook wouldn't, wouldn't be the, bad, the worst yeah. thing. So that's pretty much it guys. I mean, it's real simple. We're gonna show a few close-up shots of, of kind of how we do this and some of the rigging. And, uh, and if you guys do this, I think you guys will be way better off as far as your storage and carrying of, of, your, of your knife jigs. Yeah, it makes so much more sense. It's so much more efficient. I think it'll result in catching lots more fish. You can quickly change to another color, another mm -hmm. type of jig. And you're also gonna save money doing this, yeah. right? Yeah, and it's just quicker and easier, you know? Yeah, basically, even on this bag here, <clears throat> you know, that's another thing too with saving money is normally we would rig every single jig, but on, on a particular, you know, overnight or a two day trip or something like that, you take three, three to five hook packs, maybe three liters, and that's all you need versus having 25 hook packs and 25 liters. You know, it's, it's just a better way to go. And, the reason we even need more than one isn't because the fish is going to break you off. It, it might be because you get into a tangle, some massage you off. That's really the only way you're going to lose, lose one of these jigs is, is get sawed off. And, and it does happen. You know, sometimes these fish come in bunches. But I don't really foresee having it three times in one trip. You know, obviously you can carry more. But to me, this is all you would really need to have. And, and uh, it just makes it way easier. And the hook packs, leaders, all that is available here at Island Fishing Tackle? Yeah, yeah, we usually have it all in stock. Obviously, with supply chain, sometimes we're out of some things. Right now, we do have a pretty good selection of them. So if you need some right now, I'd, I'd come down and get some, but, uh, but always call ahead just to make sure. But we're usually pretty good. And, and one thing I notice here at this store, if somebody watches this and they want to be tutored in person, they're welcome no to come down. And, oh yeah, no I know, problem. I see it all the time. Yeah, here. and one of the things, too, is the reason we do this is to make it easier. So actually, showing somebody how to do this is even something we'll do, we do all the time because it is so easy to do. And once they see it once, it's like, oh yeah, let me, let, me, let me do it this way. It's way better. Makes perfect sense. Sam, thanks so much. Great tackle tip, my friend. You got it. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right.